In this lesson, we're going to learn how to work with splines in 3ds Max. Alright, so splines are 2D shapes that we can create in a 3D environment. So to create a shape or a spline, we want to go to our shapes under our Create panel. Here you'll see that the default drop-down is splines, and here we have several objects that we can create. I can create an individual line that I can draw out in one of my orthographic views, so my top, front, or left view, by left-clicking and adding in vertex points. And every time you left-click, that will create a point on your object. Now we can close the spline by left-clicking on the yellow vertex, or the first vertex, and that will give us the close spline option. And now we've created one continuous loop. Now you'll see that whenever we left click individual points like that, it creates very linear lines. We can create smooth lines by deleting this out, and we can change our initial type from corner to smooth, and then we have our drag type, which is set to Bezier. If I left click and I uh, drag on my next point, you can see that that gives me the ability to uh, modify my shape. And here, I can continue to left click and drag, and every time I place a new point, I'm going to hold that down and drag out that line. Now you can see that I don't really get that much control out of this. So my personal uh, favorite way to do this is to make sure that my initial type is set to corner, and then I'll just left click some simple points. So if I were to come up here in my front view, and I would create something that looks kind of like a vase. So to create a straight line, I'm going to hold down Shift, and you can see that that's constraining that line, and I'm going to left click to create that point. I'm going to come down to here, and then out, and then create the bottom of my vase, and then hold down Shift to drag out a flat bottom here. I'm going to left click and right click to end that. Now I'm not closing that spline, and that's okay. You are perfectly welcome to do that. Now looking at this, it's a 2D shape in 3D space. It's not a vase at all. So how do we create a vase? And how do I smooth it out uh, from there? So what I can do is I can go to my Modify panel. And here you can see that we can access the sub-object modes of this particular line. We have Vertex mode, Segment mode, and then Spline mode. So under Spline mode, you can see that it selects that en entire spline. Segment will select the individual segments or edges, and then Vertex will give us the individual points. Now let's go to Vertex mode, and let's select all of the points in this object. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to convert my tangent types, or my vertex types, from corner, which gives me the very linear lines here, to Bezier corner. Bezier corner, what that does is it gives me the ability, I'm going to hit Alt-W to maximize this view, it gives me the ability to, with my Move tool active, to move these individual handles and curve out the line however I see fit. So if I wanted to create a curved shape in my vase, I can come in and I can begin to modify the shapes of this object. Now, with this Bezier corner, it gives me individual uh, abilities to move each individual handle. Now if I were to select this particular object or this particular vertex and I right click and convert that to Bezier, you're going to notice that it locks the handles in place and it only allows me to move one side. Okay, And it moves the other side in tandem. Now the advantage of using Bezier is that it will create a very smooth line or transition from this line to the next line where using Bezier Corner, you can have lots of lines um, from that vertex. So I'm going to show you what that looks like here in just a second. So to create 3D geometry from this, let's go ahead and go to our modifier list, and I'm going to use what's called Lathe. Now what Lathe is going to do is it's going to create geometry in 360 degrees. Let me go to my perspective view, so I'm going to hit P on the keyboard and F3. So it's going to create geometry from that line that I created. So here you can see that it is kind of creating that shape, but it's a little off. 
Let me switch my alignment from center to minimum. And here it's created that shape. Okay. Now looking at this particular object, you can see that it's very smooth. Now look right here, you can see that this has created a line. And that's because there's a vertex at this point on our line. So if I go to that, you can see that this point right here is a Bezier corner tangent and it's creating that line all the way around. So if I simply right click and switch that over to Bezier, what it's going to do is it's going to get rid of that line, making that very smooth. Okay, so here we've created a very basic shape okay, for a vase. Now like I said in the last lesson, when you're working with geometry, you want to make sure that you don't have any sharp edges like this, as it can um, throw off the CG. Okay, it's very unrealistic. So what I would want to do is go to vertex mode and select that particular vertex. I could change my handles or I could split it into two. Now with the line, you have the ability of using your different tools. In this case, we want to use fillet. So I'm going to left click on that and activate that tool. And then I'm going to left click on my vertex and hold and drag my mouse down and that will split that one vertex into two, creating a curve in between. Let me turn off fillet and then go back to lathe and you'll see now that we have a very smooth bottom to that. Okay. Now using this lathe, we also have the ability of adjusting these parameters so I can adjust my segments to make it very smooth all the way around. Okay. I could also adjust how far around this goes in the lathe. So if I only want, let's say, half of this, I could set this to 180 and instead of it being a vase, it could be something that attaches to the wall, okay, like maybe a half pillar or something like that. Uh, we could also make it a corner piece in a wall by switching this to 90 degrees. So now it fits into a corner and looks very, very smooth. Okay, so just different ways of using this, these splines. All right, so now that we have learned how to work with splines, in our next lesson we're going to talk about how to work with a smoothing workflow. And what I mean by that is we're going to be creating uh, or blocking in the basic shapes of an object and then we're going to be using a modifier called Turbo Smooth to smooth out our geometry. And we need to kind of discuss that workflow and how that works in order to uh, move forward with our course. So I'll see you in the next lesson.